Should we give it a quick nudge into gear? Plenty of water. Did it really smoke a lot? <laughs> right, welcome back guys. Right, we're still in the engine room. Let's have a look at what we need to do today. So in last week's episode, we removed that frame, that frame, that frame, and the web frame. All we've done today. So it's all prepped, it's all scarfed, but what we need to do is work down on the bilge. So, I'm squatting down here. And the problems I've got down here is this stringer here is looking a bit ropey. So, so while we've got the web frame removed, it'd be good to do some do repair on that because we can put a sister in. So because we've got the, the web frame removed, we can put a sister in, like to slide it down there, and then we can then slide it down to span the bad area. But what we need to do is cut a piece of this floor out, and there's some timber behind it, so we can slip that all the way through and then bolt it to this stringer. So that's our first job today, so let's get stuck in with that. Right, so what we need to do now is get the grinder out and cut some of this floor away. So I've done, done a little mark there, so we're going to cut the floor away and then we're going to cut the wood that's behind it. Hey, I've had a good hoover up, so no stray sparks and so far as any bits of wood and I've got a big bucket of water there. Safety, you never know, dear. Oh yeah, and I'll put some glasses on as well. I wish there was more space. wasn't so bad. Oh yes. That was quite a bit easier than a four. Right, so I'll have a measure up now. We'll cut a, a length of a length of oak. Uh, we'll get as long as we can. Clean it all up, we'll bolt it up, we'll glue it up and then that'll fix this little problem maybe then, won't it? We'll cut it 1,010. Right, let's put the sister. Try to fit the sister in anyway. Where's my hammer? Beautiful.
don't know what that's for, don't we? It's getting a bit cold in the engine room, so I thought best heaters in the world is an internal combustion engine. This change being like up in the wheelhouse, well compared to our rubber boat anyway, this is so quiet, the you know, obviously engine noise, give it a quick rev up here. Could have cleaned the gauges, could have, look. Should we give it a quick nudge into gear? Plenty of water. Don't really want to move it too much. Just sort of feel a wobble a little bit. So I've set on a high idle, see the thousand revs on each engine. So we're going to have another quick look round, make sure everything's good. Make sure she's pumping water. Plenty of water, nice sort of low, dull. Can't help but like maneuver till the lines go tight. Like a big kid, really. I'm so excited for the day we actually just sort of untie the lines and head out there. A few years off that, yeah, the wrong way. Obviously we still need to do a lot of engine work, I haven't got round to it yet, but could do a sponsor of Caterpillar. Those are little parts, all these little parts are going to cost the money aren't they, but hey. All we can do is sort of sit here in the moment and give her a quick rev. Enough of that, I think we should stop her. Oh, we should have a bit more heat now in the, in the engine room. Right, let's crack on, see what's next to do. I think it's the frames. Right, it's now marginally warmer in the engine room. Marginally. Still got the big coat on. Right, so last week we, we put a plank in there and we put some wedges in to keep it back. So we get that off. Gonna prep this whole wall, ready for some paints, and then we'll start looking into making the frames and the web frame. So yeah, let's get, try and get these wedges out and then we'll give that a bit of a sand and then we'll get some paint on it and then we can make the frames.
So because of the absence of Gemma today, I'm going to have to say, Anna, it's paint your bow time. Yeah. And this is this um this string here needs a sister on it. There's a little crack in it there, but um we won't do that until the frames are in. Because we don't want that to get in the way of getting the frames in. Time to open up the deck so we can get them three new frames in. I think it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, don't like this metal. Right, so we need to take a bit of a, a sliver out of there because we've got a few frames to put in and we can patch it back up. And I'm not feeling very well today, so I'm not going to be doing much thinking. <laughs> Tell them when I'm coming up on the beam. Yeah, yeah, I'm off two inches. Okay. Right, I'm just making a cock of this. Um, So is it on the beam there? Yeah. All right, so we've opened it up now, we can get our frames in. You've made a bit of a mess. Right. Poxy time. To laminate the war, the, not the white frames, the frames. Looks a bit fluid. It's fairly fluid, the uh, epoxy today, because I, because it's a bit cold, I put it on the radiator when I come in. So it's lovely and fluid. Let me just get this on quick. It's hot. Oh, it's hot. Race against time now. We're quite good at this now. We're quite um we know our roles. Simon goes and puts the thinned on. And then I follow behind with the thickened epoxy. Oh, scraping the bottom of the barrel on everything. They haven't got like I don't know if we're gonna have enough filler for all three, you know. Let's have to get some sawdust out. Doesn't work. Doesn't it? No. But it does, but Um, it soaks up and it dries it out. Ah, okay. I'm literally scraping the bottom of the barrel. Look.
Right, fit it. Okay. Ready to come down, yeah? Yeah. Little one, keep going. Another one, yeah, one more, one more again, and another one. Okay, we got squeezage. Okay, one down. I don't know what we're going to do though. We haven't got enough, we haven't got enough thickener. Let's go and have a little scrounge round. Yeah. I got black gloves on. Look like a really crap superhero, like bin bag man, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> bin bag man. <laughs> I like our gloves because like we don't get them mixed up now. Yeah, actually, yeah, because yeah, I always go to the blue gloves and go. What size are they? I don't know. You have to look at them. It's all Chinese. Yeah, you end up putting like small ones on. I yeah, that was like extra large ones on. Yeah. Right, get the right epoxy. Uh, we're seriously like on the bones of our arse on epoxy. So let's go and see if we've got enough before we even bother laminating the other two up. Yeah, what we might have to prioritise on is laminating the web frame. Yeah. Anyway, let's go have a look. Well, Houston. I can't believe we've used all of that. I know it's not as big as my head, but it's probably about the same size as Gemma's. Well, that's all we've got there. So, it's now that. I don't even think that's going to be enough to laminate the web frame. We're sort of prioritising things and laminating the web frame, because obviously that takes a couple of days to dry. The way is we can just laminate the frames and put them straight in and nail them and, and this, stuff. And this stuff, this micro, the microfibers filler doesn't thicken as... Well. You need a lot more of this than you do the other, the, the, the silica. Does that mean we're on stop? I think so, yeah. We are on stop. We can't, we can't rush these things, can we? <sighs> Life. Okay, so I think we'll have enough epoxy thickener to do the short frame. Ta da! Did we hear the smoke alarm? It's <laughs> just. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> why, why have we got carbon monoxide alarms going on? Because we've got the Jenny going. Oh, yeah. It's a bit, and the boat's a bit holy, so obviously the fumes just come back in. And the water's coming in as well, look. So that's another problem. So that's another problem. We get these, these frames in now, and we can't even cough and nail them because the water's coming in. Yeah, we can get, we can get them in there. There's always a problem, isn't there? Right, maybe we should open the back door so because that carbon monoxide alarm is obviously a bit of a lot of something's not right. So I, I pointed the generator away. You pointed the exhaust away now. Well, yeah. that's a good plan, isn't it? I'm gonna put that away somewhere. <laughs> Sure. You can't just hide it because it's making a noise. <laughs> it's a safety device. Some days are just harder than others, and even though the work's not actually any different, sometimes you just feel like everything's sort of against you, and it's like one problem after another after another. And obviously, we thought today'd be great. We'll come in, we'll get three frames in, we'll get the web frame laminated up, and then sort of we're nearly there in the engine room. And then it's like you come and you go, oh, didn't realise I'd run out of 
epoxy. Didn't realise I'd run out thick in the reckoner. Didn't realise the water was going to come in, so we can't even go and do copper nails. I think it's not going to come that high there, the water today. Just a fight. Everything's like, everything for today feels like a fight, doesn't it? So we've got more resin than we have thickener on me, so we'll, mm. we'll go heavy on the end. I mean, a lot of people don't want any thickener. Mm. On YouTube, aren't I? Ah, we're going to be alright, you know? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, well, for this one, that's it then. Okay. Change my gloves just so I can pick the camera up. <laughs> Even though it's full of epoxy anyway. <laughs> Looks like jizz, doesn't it? Simon. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> do, you, do you have to wear pink gloves? <laughs> so rude. Have to bring them home. <laughs> Yeah, right. Put your top over to the back a little bit. That perfect. One more little one. Yeah, perfect. Down we go. You put a second on it. Yeah. It's because he plenty of usage, so. I think you can come and screw it in now. Okay. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. So you put screws in. Got a screw sticking out of it. This is always the hardest part about. It's not the hardest, but it's pain um, having to like find a piece of wood to patch up the deck with. <laughs> this side's got a screw in it as well. It's going to be an interesting job, isn't it, when we have to replace all the cabin walls up on the deck? Hmm. That's going to be fun. Um, we'll have to get some more filler. Because <laughs> obviously, you know, we haven't got much place to stand. Well, you know. Oh, uh, actually, compared to most boats we've been on, oh, come yeah. on. What, are, what are these called? <coughs> it's not a um, companion way, is it? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, we were educated ones, but... <laughs> Let me know in the comments what the, the side bits... It's not... Gunnels? No. No, that's down the side. What's the bit on the side of your boat called? <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously we've got no handrails. We've got a small area and we're going to be working like with big sheets of ply getting them up. Um, and obviously we're going to have to sort of do it all in a day, aren't we? Because we can't take the sides off the boat <laughs> and leave it totally exposed. I could see you being ill that day. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> but then obviously my thing is is when we do the decks mm. do the decks go under the walls well they do so i've i've already years ago off camera i've actually replaced the internal deck mm -hmm. so that basically goes underneath it's right up underneath here so i've already half done that 
I'd like to show you. We'll do a quick. Yeah. So yeah, so it's, it's trying to get your head around all these jobs. Is okay. Yeah, we know we're going to do the decks this year, and we know actually before we do the decks, we've got to do the beam shelf. We've got to do some plank repairs further down. Um, we've got to do the deck beams. But then when you start putting stuff like this into the equation, going, well, do we need to do the cabin walls at the same time? Why don't? <coughs> why don't when we put the deck in, we leave the deck wide, and then cut the deck back later. So we've got a bit more yeah. surface area for when we're putting this off. Just when we're doing general work. And it'll also keep the water away from the hull. Yeah. So, you know, we spend a lot of time just mm. looking at stuff and analysing jobs going, at what mm. order does it need to be done? And it's not as straightforward as sometimes we make it look. No. <laughs> I think sometimes for you guys, we make it look a bit too easy like oh look we just took a frame out we just put a frame in yeah. um you don't see the the swearing and the head scratching and the ah moments sometimes yeah. and they're saying i can't do it i can't do it i haven't got i haven't got the energy to do it oh <laughs> yeah just so maybe we need to start showing more um of our struggles instead of making it look and dead glamorous and easy and stuff like that because it, it's it's not yeah because we might encourage people to to do it, make it make it look easy. Yeah, people go, oh, they can do it. It looks dead easy. <laughs> but yeah, so maybe we need to start showing more struggle. Yeah. But I think you're going to see a lot more this year with all the decks and stuff like that. Yeah. And problems like this. Yeah, and we've obviously still got to try and do a decent job of it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be easy just to like, oh, that'll do. Fiberglass over that, it'd be fine. Yeah. Uh, we want it. We want, we want it to be right. We want it to see us out into our future anyway. Yeah. yeah. So here's the deck we are stood on at the moment. <laughs> And this is the one we've we've already changed internally. So the internal deck, so I've changed that from the inside. There's been a lot of repairs done, but when, when the new deck comes in, we'll put a piece of material across here, then it'll all, it'll all link it together then. So we have been doing a bit of work behind the scenes, which is nice. Best bit of deck on the boat? Perfect bit. It is actually. Ow! Right then, well, we're gonna end this episode here because we can't do any more down there nope. until we've got some epoxy. Yep. <laughs> so, guess where I'm going now to go and order some epoxy. <laughs> yes. So, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you to all of our patrons and our supporters who really do help make this project possible. Yep. Without you, we wouldn't be this far along. Nope. So, cheers, Don't guys. forget to press the like and subscribe as well, so other people can watch us. Yes. Let's see this year if you can get us up to 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, because we're, we're sort of, what, 84-ish now, maybe? Yeah. So, tell your friends about us, get yeah. all your family to subscribe, and help us out. <laughs> yeah. See you Thank all you. soon. Bye you for go. now. See you, bye.